And welcome back to Hannity. A gorilla at the Cincinnati Zoo was killed after a four-year-old boy fell into the animal's enclosure. Now part of this horrific scene was caught on tape. Watch this. Now, some are calling for the parents of the four year old boy to be charged. According to the AP, police are now investigating the circumstances of how the toddler was able to enter the gorilla's enclosure. Joining us now with reaction, wildlife advocate and expert Dan Stockdale and Columbus Zoo president and CEO Tom Stauff is with us. All right, Tom, let me start with you. I, I understand. I love animals. I have dogs. I understand people are heartbroken. But you see that 450-pound gorilla dragging this kid around like a rag doll. And if it, let's look at it from the other side. If, in fact, the zoo did not kill him or tried to tranquilize him and it backfired and angered the gorilla and the kid was killed, people would be outraged that the kid wasn't saved. I, I, it's you're, a no-win situation for the zoo, and I think they made the right call in the difficult circumstances. Absolutely. Uh, when you watch the video, you see how agitated the silverback gorilla is acting. You can also see how he's throwing the child around. Uh, what are your options? Uh, one option people would ask is why wouldn't we sedate the gorilla? Well, it's not the movies. When you sedate an animal, it could take uh, up to 20 minutes. And if the animal is extremely agitated, the sedation might not even take effect. Uh, if the uh, sedative would have uh, been used as a dart from a rifle, that would have agitated the gorilla even more. Unfortunately, uh, it was uh, the right decision. And it, it, the Cincinnati Zoo, uh, they, they acted quickly uh, with their uh, response team to evaluate the situation. And uh, unfortunately, they had to make that call. That call is something that they have been performing in exercises and drills. Uh, just like the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, we prepare for this day. Yeah. We hope that day never happens. Dan, if it was my child, I would want the zoo to do exactly what they did in that particular case. Um, your reaction, and I guess the only question is, how is this kid able to go through these different barriers and have this accident falling down? That's, that's something that needs to be investigated. Right, and you know that's one of our concerns. I think any parent in this situation Obviously, we want to make sure our children are safe, so we would expect the zoo to take whatever measures are necessary to ensure the safety of our children. Yeah, I think that's understanding that anybody who's a parent has. Um, my concern on our end is a couple fold. Uh, you know, first off, you know, we know that the gorilla was agitated, and the zoo has even admitted themselves that part of that agitation was coming from the bystanders who are out there screaming further agitating the gorilla. But you can't yeah, blame the back. people that yeah. are there. They're shocked. They're, it's a natural reaction. I understand that. But as part of the response team, part of their training should be to remove those bystanders as quickly as possible. But can't this, Everyone but, knows. But can't this 450-pound gorilla kill that child in a second? In a split second. In a split second, they could. So there's no option. part of what I'm saying. Yeah, well, part of what I'm saying is let's remove the bystanders to decrease the agitation. We do have the situation with Jamba several years ago, a couple decades ago, 1986, I believe, yeah. where the gorilla actually protected the child. And, uh, you know, there's other measures they can do in preparation Would and Would you training. want them to risk what this about? for your child? I wouldn't risk it. You have to, I think they had to make the no, decision. Uh, yeah. All right, I got to go. I think Guys, they I'm made the best decision given what they have. Sad situation. They made the right call, unfortunately.